All right. Hello. So, this is it, huh? First actual live stream. So what I want to do is I um, this this is the first time I'm doing a live stream. So I just want to do what I usually do. I'll, I'll talk a bit, you know, all the regular fun stuff. Uh, see if this works out, and uh, you know, just uh, play around a bit. Maybe put it on YouTube. I don't know yet. Depends on if it's any good. Uh, but feel free to, uh, you know, join me and chat with me. I'll have chat open on the side here. So I'll see you when you talk. So what I want to do for now is uh, I want to continue on a sculpt that I, uh, that I started a week ago and didn't finish. But the idea is... Uh, to create a, a grung, a grung is a dungeon dragons, frog, human, and uh, this was about one and a half hours work. I uh, I got the basic shape, but we need to make it a bit more interesting. You know, so uh, let's get started. It's out of sync. Oh man. What, in what way is it out of sync? Is it too slow? I don't know what's going on. Like I said, first time I'm doing this. Let's see. Let's try and sync it up somehow. Maybe it's because I'm recording this at the same time. Do you think do you think that could be it? Probably right. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I um. So this is the model I was working on last week. Is it is it blinking? No, it's not blinking anymore. I don't I don't know why it does that. But sometimes the the screen keeps blinking. It's it's done now. So you asked me how big the Grung are in five edition fifth edition. They're a, a small race. So about I think that's about one meter tall, right? So uh, let's let's get you started. So this down here is the base. That's the actual size of a a miniature. This is one inch across, two and a half centimeters. And I use that for scale, so I know uh, how how big I need this to uh, to be. So once this is actually done, I'm gonna scale the whole creature down to fit on this, uh, on the base. So yeah, uh, this is uh, actually a character I'm playing. His name is Kika. He's a he's a grung. He's a frog. Frog people, um, and he's from the jungle. That's why he wears, uh, you know, a straw like outfit which is what I started on he uses a blowpipe that also um, functions as a flute as a tin whistle and he has a bow so those are his weapons so I, 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 I got that I got the bo uh, the basic shape you know you, uh, sh if you look at these these feet they're not they're not done yet but you know at least you can see their frog feet right so that that's all gonna we're all gonna clear that up today or maybe tomorrow let's see how far we can get so his his hands obviously have uh, you know they need fingers i put a uh, an image of grung uh, um, above me so there's uh, a, a couple images so you know what they actually look like in dungeons and dragons 
So that's what we're we're shaping them after. All right. All right. So hello. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming. All right. Um. Well, now I need to get in my groove. What shall we start with? Um. So before I'm gonna uh, put him in his pose, in his actual pose that he, I will um, shape the miniature in, I want to uh, make it look a little bit better. So uh, like the feet, I want to do, uh, I want to clean them up a bit. Because if I uh, do the position first, then I can no longer mirror the um, uh, let me see. Let me. How can I explain this? I have these. You see, the the ball of his foot. There's a red dot where I have my mouse, but there's also a red dot on the other foot, which means if I do something here, it also happens on the other side because it's a mirrored, right? So if I, um, if I. Uh, if I clean up one of the foot, one of the feet, then the other one will also get cleaned up. But if I uh, position him differently, I can no longer use this mirror feature. So uh, I would just be doing double work, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do, I have all these uh, toes and the feet. So I'm going to just merge them down. Yes, so all these, all right, so now his feet are um, one single model instead of five different uh, tools. We're gonna remesh them, all right. So now you can see I can clean them up. I can make them look a little better. Look all these things, let's smooth those out. And here also. Yeah, that's what I did. All right. Little frog feet. So something to note is that grung are not actually aquatic aquatic frogs. They can breathe underwater, and they actually need to uh, need to submerge themselves in water for a while. But they do not need that. Um, you know, they're they're actually tree frogs, so that means that uh, they don't have webs in between their feet, in between their toes. So these are like climbing feet. So if you uh, if you know Grung, you know they have a climbing speed instead of a swimming speed. For you Dungeons and Dragons people out there. Like me. Like I said, I um, I play a, a grung character in one of my uh, one of my groups. He is a uh, he's a fighter actually. And a sniper fighter. So a fun thing is since they're tree frogs, these are poisonous frogs. And uh, that means that if they do a piercing attack, they can add poison damage to, their every, to every attack they make with a piercing weapon. <laughs> Should have done this before. Alright, I can make this bigger. Alright, so how are we all doing? Everybody have a nice day. So I kind of did. Nothing special, but you know, I had fun today. So what I'm doing here is I use the flatten tool. 
it just makes all surfaces a bit more flat. This is uh, a couple purposes. The first one is that um, if I, uh, you, you see all these squares, they're all like polygons, they're all poly points. If I flatten this, uh, then at the, um, at the end of the process, then I can lower the amount of uh, data points in there. So the file size will be significantly smaller, like about one sixth without, uh, without decreasing the quality of the model. So that's a really nice thing. Other thing is that aesthetically it looks better. If I have all, uh, if I have stripes everywhere, then eh, I, I, don't, I don't like that aesthetic. So this is a frog, he needs to be a bit smooth, you know. Smooth frog. Right. So, yeah, these feet look a little better than than before. Right? I think so. Okay. So, if you were here for um, for the test test stream that I did last week, you noticed I am. Um, or you will remember that I was struggling with the face for uh, for a, for a while, you know. I think it's pretty difficult to get the face right because a face is the um, is the part of a creature that people can recognize the most. So if it does not look uh, in the way that they expect it, then it, 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 it turns off everything. So, I mean, if I did the feed a bit wrong, that's less of a problem for recognizing this is a frog than if I did the, uh, the face wrong. If that makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, Google some more grung images to see if I can uh, clean up a bit of the proportions before I start uh, start doing different stuff. So the thing is there's different uh, imagery of the grung. In my uh, in the in the slideshow above there's a couple images. And one of them is a group of three little grung. Those are the, the artwork for the fifth edition grung. But there's also a more classic look. And they're a bit different because the Dungeons & Dragons fifth edition grung are, um, are a bit smaller in size and their head is bigger. But that's always a bit uh, tricky if you... Uh, you know, if there's different additions and they have different proportions. Let me, by the way, let me show him without his uh, outfit. So, I think this is actual frog body. And I didn't pay too much attention to this because I knew there was going to be an outfit on here. But I like this shape better, so maybe what I can do is I can make this a little bit uh, tighter. Let's see if this, that's going to work. And I don't want to see his skin through there. If I make this a bit tighter, I might make him look a bit more slim. Yeah. All right. So again, this is uh, this is his straw outfit. He uh, his outfit is made out of twigs.
Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a beautiful name you got there. Yeah, he does not... Um, He does not have hair. No, it's a frog. Might give him a few warts. You know? Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty good. Here, this part can be a bit tighter below the arms. All right. Maybe make it start a bit lower, below the below his um, below his chin. Yep, I like that. All right. Now at least it looks like an outfit and uh, not too much like hair. Should I give him maybe a necklace? What do you think? Or maybe a hat? What if I gave him also a straw hat? I think that would be really cute. Don't you think? I don't know how that's gonna look. Let's Let's just try. Let's just see what happens. I, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Gosh darn, we're going to try it. Right. Split this. This is not the shape of his head. It's just a general start, starting shape. All right. This looks kind of cool also, actually. Like a mohawk. <laughs> Maybe gave him a... Give him a pompadour. Is this Trump? <laughs> In this... <laughs> from this point of view, that looks like Trump's hair. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> or it looks like uh, if I if I do this, do you think I can make this look like a hot dog? Maybe. mind okay um, enough shenanigans <laughs> Donald Grump <laughs> this is so bad <laughs> I didn't expect this <laughs> oh my well, at least I'm having fun <laughs> You ain't nothing but a frog face singing all the time. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. I'll I'll quit this. I'll I'll be serious. Okay. At least we can always look back on this. As um, as an experiment, yeah, I'll do that. Human tongue. 
maybe a dragon tongue. Maybe he uh, he fashioned himself a, a hat from a tongue. Yeah, that's because there it started out as two two balls, and I uh, I merged them together to make one big ball. But yeah, that that uh, that creates a growth between them. I wonder if um, the FBI and NSA and stuff are obligated to watch streams like this, and then they have to look at a frog with a with a Donald Trump hair. They're gonna be like, "What's going on in the world?" Maybe I can give him um, like a like a leaf, a hat made out of a leaf. Maybe that would be cool. cool. Or a or a giant bug or something. Do you think that could work? Let's try. Let's see what um giant leaf. All right. Giant leaf. Let's just see if this is gonna work. Again, I didn't think this through. We're just doing stuff, seeing what's gonna what's gonna work. Uh, let's actually let's widen this and then push this in. Acorn helmet. That could work. Or a bug. Yeah, that could both work. Let's let let's let's try you know, if we're in the mood for this, then uh, I will try a few. Okay? How's that? Looks a bit weird, right? Is that, is that okay? No, it's too small. Okay, I need to inflate this. Where's my inflate function? I always lose my tools. There they are. All right. Let's uh, let's put a groove in here. Yeah, so you can get a bit of an idea. Does that work? I'm not sure. I think a leaf is weird. Although, what I'm gonna try is this. Uh, just wanna rotate it. Shouldn't the groove be opposite? What do you mean? Like on the uh, below? Oh, you mean that uh, this should be filled? I think you're right. Let's let's do that before I turn it. Yeah, that makes more sense. You are very right, Mr. Ratza.
because that's a twig, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, you know, we're going to hide this one. Now I'm going to duplicate it. So I got this one. I'm going to undo this, but not to worry because I'm, I duplicated it. Now we can start from way back here. So now what I can do is uh, I can choose. Ah, okay. This is my leaf. I take it off. Now we're going to start on a new hat. Let's make a hat. Acorn hat, right? Let's give that a shot. Even though I'm not sure if there's acorns in the jungle. That will undo. You think there's acorns in the jungle? I will turn off saving at least a long so because what I'm what I'm doing right now it auto saves but it saves my entire um, undo history Let me turn it off so if it auto saves it will only take a few seconds instead of 30 seconds it saves everybody time Okay, uh, let's make this round first. They're just <laughs> looks like he has a baseball cap. A bit. It's true. Everything can be in the jungle in D and D. Wise words. Okay, this is where the flattened tool comes in again. All right, man. D6 hit die. Um, I need to think about that. All right, and I think it has a little thing on the top, right? Something like that. <laughs> Again, that's funny. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I think it's really funny to put hats on frogs. <laughs> You can tell I also like uh, it like this. I also like uh, dressed up animals. I think that's cute, even though sometimes it's sad. Hey man, how are you doing? Welcome. It's the Amaluint. All right. Then uh, I don't have the tool installed now. Man, I need to do that a bit later. Uh, I got a tool that makes really easy scratches. Let's let's improvise. Like this. It's a bit different.
acorn hat. Are you happy here? That acorn is big as fuck. That's right. It's a big as fuck acorn. Let's put it into perspective. That's just one meter. Wait, we can do this. Like this. This is forty six thousand units. So this is seven. So that's one seventh of a meter. So this is fourteen centimeter. This is a fourteen seventy uh, fourteen centimeter tall acorn hat. That's a big acorn. Oh well. Um, so which do we like better? Do we like the acorn? Or the leaf? What else did we have? To, there was another suggestion. Um, Oh, a bug, right? A big beetle or something? Do we want to try that as well? Let's try it. A big... Okay. Undo... Undo everything. Mm, actually, you know what? We can start from here. Okay, that's too far. Okay, we can start from here. Let's move this. So, hold on, I think I need to sneeze. Huh, apparently not. Okay, so should the bug head be in the front or in the back? Or should the ass be? up front. What do we think? I think up front eyes would be funny if there's like two sets of eyes looking at you. What do we think? I think I'm gonna do that first. Let's see how it works. <laughs> More spheres. And then he needs legs, right? He needs a groove here. Straight through the middle. I like that. Let's give him some legs, some little legsies. You know, this is actually a pretty fun way to uh, to brainstorm, try new ideas, character sketching. Beep de pee. 
So um, it's my best friend's birthday today. So if he comes here, I want you all to sing for him. Okay. I don't know if he's going to show up. If he does, you're going to have to. I'm not sure if you want to hear me sing, but I want to hear you guys sing. Not that I can hear you. I, I, I don't have bugs planted in your homes. But. Right. Okay, this is adorable. I, I haven't figured out how to do that. I don't know how to to input multiple sound sources. I'm actually surprised I got I got one working, so don't <laughs> don't ask me for that. Alright, he's got a bug. What do we think? Is that cute? I think it's pretty cute. What's the um, what's the stream title called? Because I I think I updated it, but I'm not sure. Is it uh, what? Uh, is it still the same as as last week? So I think I changed it. Oh. Okay, so it didn't update. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, so this is a bug. Uh, let's give him some little teeth. I'm not an expert on bugs, on any means. I think that's cute. Okay, so we got three options. Well, four actually. So we got a bug. Right? Or we could take it off and give him an acorn hit. Or a leaf. Your voting bug. Alright. That's one bug. Acorn hit. Or like this. <laughs> the acorn bug. I can also, uh, do all of them at the same time. That's disturbing, but or actually we also have the option to do none of the above. We want all of them at the same time. Biggie Acorn leave. Or we can go back to uh, to the Donald Trump, to his Trump hair. I think nobody wants to see that. This is all of them at the same time. Something with feathers? Like what? Like a dead bird? Or like... Um, Native American headgear. Not feather. Take a chicken. A whole, an actual. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. 
How about this? I will work on his fingers for a bit. Hear me out here. In the meantime, you guys decide on what the fourth head option should be. Actual chicken is not hell, but I'm sure you can come up with something even greater, even more glorious. Well, I will go struggle with frog fingers. Right. How do you like that idea? Again, so I'm, I'm gonna start working on fingers and you guys are gonna decide what he should put on his head. I've made 50 hats. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that, that that could happen actually. I am. Um, I've been known to do that. <laughs> it's the same when you're when you're uh, sketching, right? So when you're um, if you're you're drawing something and you're in the you're in the flow. You're just you, you drew a cute character or a cool character or whatever, and you need to decide on this outfit. You just you just keep going. You just keep going, and you know get so many different ideas, and you think all of them are fun, all of them are great. It's the same thing with with our frog heads. How do I make these into frog fingers? I may have um, may have done this. I've approached this wrong. I always suck it with with fingers. Like if I'm drawing, it's the same thing. It's mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. Uh, it's the same thing. Hand and feet are so difficult to draw, but sculpting as well. At least we get an undo button because it's digital. But so these these grung fingers, they look pretty square to me. Should I reach? Uh, should I change the stream title to um, "Making Frog Heads"? I think people want to watch that. That's the kind of thing people <laughs> people would be drawn towards. <laughs> frog heads. <laughs> All right, that's one finger, one frog finger. Let's make more. And by make more, I mean just duplicate this first finger into a second finger. How many fingers do Frog Head? Frog Head Freddy. You know what? Try to uh, try to figure out some really cool. Uh, some really cool ideas for for frog heads. Should these be longer, probably. Or do they? Or do they? Um, I think this is about right. They do have a thumb. Everyone knows frogs have thumbs. Froggy. That's um for fun. Let's put his bug on his head.
You know what, Mr. Abstract Glitterface? I think you I think I know who you are. If you are who I think you are, your name starts with the same letter as mine. Second one also. What class is Kika? He's a fighter. He's a full-fledged fighter. But I gave him um, sharpshooter feet, so he's more of a stealth archer, right? But the idea, since so so his his thing is, since he's a frog, he can uh, he can poison his darts and his arrowheads because he's a poisonous frog, right? So, um, so because his uh, his weapons are poisoned, they deal more damage. So what I want to do is I want to do more attacks and the way to do that is to go fighter. So if I go Nova, then uh, on that turn I have a Hunter's Mark active because I have a Ring of Spell Storing and a Ranger in my party and I uh, you know that stacks really well with sharpshooter and the poison damage so I can get to roll a lot of dice for damage in the single turn. Skull on his head. I think the chicken was funnier but I'm not saying no. So I'll change this a bit. Rock fingers. So, do you think they have like awkward long fingers, like their uh, like their feet? I think they should be pretty awkward and long. That looks painful. Yeah, poor frog. Poor froggy. It's fine. It's how he survives. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna give him four fingers on each hand. Yep. I think that's the way to go. Let's move this. Okay. That's uh that looks a bit too long. Then again if I look at the images their fingers are huge. I think this might be fine actually. I'll clean it up later, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you're worried about him. Let's uh, let's take it out. So he's fine. He handles the hurt. Hurt. So yesterday was. Um, I had another session with this character and he got one shot so we're level four and my um, dungeon master pulls out a level 11 rogue out of nowhere we had no way to prepare for this and he one shot me and I almost died by uh, by big damage so I was pretty salty because I really liked this character but I felt there was no counterplay so I was a bit upset after yesterday, but I'm fine now. See, he can hold it. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. I have different fingers now. But... 
Actually, no, we're fine. I, uh, I just turn off mirrored. So now if I uh, if I decide to move this one, never mind. Um, if I try to move this one, the other one, the other hand doesn't move. So now I can rotate them. But if I um, if I mask this one. On, on one side, if I mask it, then I think I actually can move this. Yeah, see, the, the other finger doesn't move, so that's fine. Make some of his body parts invisible. Turn him out in the way. See now he's a he's a frog ghost. A tree ghost. What I can do now is I can just um, I should mark Mark his uh, his finger bones. How often do I play? You mean Dungeon Dragons? I play two times a week. I play on uh, Monday nights and Tuesday nights, which is why I'm uh, setting up the stream for Wednesday and Thursdays, because those are my only free nights left. In a week. And I don't want to mess around with my D&D schedule too much because you now we have a couple groups and finally we found dates to uh, play at the same time so I don't want to change the date too much. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Um, there we go. Let's rotate this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rotate part of his finger. So it will look like he's grasping the flute. This is an hmm. I think his fingers are starting at the wrong place. I'm too eager to go to the next step. I need to make sure the basics are right, otherwise. It's gonna. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Otherwise, the whole the whole uh, project's gonna come down. I cannot talk and think at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not much of a multitasker yet. I will be once I get some practice. But Gonna move the fingers a bit more outwards. I need to shrink his little pinky. Both his pinkies. I think that's better. All right, back to morphing the fingers. 
Mighty Morphing Finger Froggy. It's always some of the more uh, difficult and time-consuming parts and also the least fun in my opinion. But hey, what you gonna do? It uh, needs to happen, right? Okay, see, if I do this, you see something moving out over here. That means that there's something unmasked there. Same here. See, this is, there's a cavity here. Need to clean that up. That does not look good at all. I'm sorry to say. How to do this? How do we do this? Well, um, did you think about the hat? I'm, I'm going to leave the fingers for now. Are we still uh, still going for the chicken? So the idea is we got a frog. He is from the jungle. And I had this is a bug. It's an acorn hat. It's a leaf. We got one more suggestion. And that is a chicken. I think I'm just gonna do a live chicken. But he's gonna be really stylized, so don't expect anything too fancy. This is just a little detour. To relax. Let's see. Split him. I know I love chickens. Chickens are one of my favorite animals. I think they're funny, they're cute, they're hilarious. Oh, that's too far. Let's put a chicken on this frog. him some ice. Yeah, I'm stretching. Oh, no, 
No, no, no, no, not yet. Okay. How you like them apples? <laughs> oh well. Um, yep. It's a chicken, all right. Let's give him a little, uh, you know, what's what's this called actually? I think below a chicken. Below a chicken's beak. Wrong tool. This, what's this called, this part of a chicken? Is it a beard, a chicken beard? I don't know what it's called. A waddle? Waddle. Okay. I'm not questioning that. Reminds me of uh, Waddle Dee from Kirby. Waddle Dee. Was he named after a chicken waddle? Look at him. Looking out for his master. Frog hands. Okay then. Oh man. Oh man. Waddle and chickens. General anatomy is caruncle. Wow. He doesn't need a nest, right? He has a leaf. He has a frog to put his butt on. You know what? I was thinking. I um, I don't know if I should be focusing on the fingers now because if I change the shape of the frog. And his pose, because if I make him climbing or something, then uh, I need to redo the fingers anyway. So I'm not sure if I want to change them now. I think I'm happy with the size and the position that they have, where they start on his arm. So I think that's good enough for now. So what we can think about is a pose. <laughs> so he's a tree frog. Let me Google some uh, some tree frog imagery. What kind of poses do they take? They just look like they're hanging from branches. I have to say, they look super adorable, tree frogs. 
should, you should Google them. I don't, I don't know how to show it to you guys. But I think they're adorable. Oh my god. And let me double check the fingers. Okay, so this is something I can change. I don't know. They have uh, little knobs on the end of their fingers. So this is going to make it look better or really weird to what I'm going to try now. <laughs> is this weird or is this good? I don't know yet. Oh, here. I need the other side as well. It's going to be a bit tighter. Alright, and the lower one. Hmm. I think that's a bit better actually, maybe. Thoughts? Hmm. So now you know why this <laughs> sculpting these things always take me forever. I'm a bit indecisive on some of these things. Like some things I can do really fast, like the outfit I did in like five minutes. But things like fingers and anatomy are always challenging. All right, let's uh, let's decide on this pose. Climbing frog. Oh wow. It looks like, so the first thing I'm seeing is that they climb with their whole body. They keep their belly really close to what they're climbing up against. If they're climbing a tree, they keep their belly stuck to the tree. Do I want that though? Maybe I can um, put him, like put a log on there somewhere. Like uh, have a log where he's crouching behind, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Pose, someone give me a, a pose for this climbing free tree frog. Because I don't know. Or just a regular pose, you know, I can, I can do a basic thing. Let me turn off some of these uh, hats. He has all the hats on. That's too much. I'm going to stick with the bug for now. All right. Uh, pose. Maybe just um, see him use his blowpipe. 
you know, like a, like a pose like that. And then use his left hand, or no, let him hold the weapon with the right hand. And use his left hand to hold uh, a tree stump. I'm not sure if I'm uh, completely sold on a chicken, to be honest. I think it's funny to do now. Maybe optional. Um, let me try something. Uh, sphere. Cylinder. And let me start on the body. Nope. I uh, I don't need this mirrored. So I'm making a just a random shape. That's all I need to uh, to start. Split it, Let's put it way at the bottom. All right, and before I do that, let's make sure that's mirrored still. Okay, let's move this. Okay, so this little thing here going to become our tree. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Tree stump. Just make this bigger, bigger, bigger. I've never uh, <laughs> made a tree stump in brush before so this is gonna be interesting let's see how this is gonna go so do I want that to be starting between his legs or next to his legs I think between maybe So that um, should I rotate this? Hmm. <laughs> Try it like this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more branches in here. Let's see if that all works. Let's make an actual tree. If you join just now, you will think this is not a tree, this is uh, a frog, this is something completely different.
Again, this is just a really general shape. Uh, this is gonna look way different, texture-wise at least. Have a branch he's standing on. Oh, you said that earlier. All right. How do, what do we think? Do we uh, do we like this? I don't know what that pop-up was. Mesh cannot be edited. What? That's never happened to me before. Edits on, right? Quick 3D edit. Did I click on something random? Oh man. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm uh, gonna take a little break. See if I can fix it. this. Um, I'll be back in about five to 10 minutes, all right? Whew, be right back.
All right, I'm back. I went to the toilet, fixed the problem. So we should be good to go now. We all still here. So what happened was apparently somehow I um, I turned off a certain setting while I was uh, fumbling around. I hit a natural one or something. Oh well, we're fine. Um, mm -mm -mm. Shape it's a bit like that. So from this point of view, it looks, you know, the branching looks okay, but it's only branching on a flat surface, so I need to change that. So I'm gonna add some more branches. Need some branches, bitches. Oh yeah, this is not a family friendly show. I I swear like a sailor sometime. I hope you don't mind. If you do, then that's your problem. So, what do we think? If any of you played a grung before in D and D? If not, I can recommend it. For those of you that just join, I'm uh, I'm making a a sculpt for my own uh, Grum character in D&D. His name is Kika, which is a gangster name for Kicker, which is frog in Dutch. He's pretty gangster, even though he's from the jungle. As you can see by his uh, chicken hat, his bug hat, he has hats for every occasion apparently. That's how he rolls. Let's flatten this. So these kind of points always scare me. And I'll explain to you why. Um, if you are going to 3D print this, then these will be weak points and you're gonna need a support for it especially for like uh, you know really small tips like this that's not gonna work it's not gonna fly uh, because then your uh, 3d printer is gonna have trouble with that so I'm gonna flatten it And look, so if this is 25 millimeters, that means this is about one millimeter, which means it can be printed, but it should not be way smaller. So this finger, for instance, I can already tell it's gonna be too small. Um, then I should not forget, I'm gonna scale this down. So this is gonna be even smaller after printing, or if you're gonna print it. So yeah, okay, okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm uh, using the flatten tool again. I use that to uh, make it look less smooth, 
I want to use this to uh, you know make it look a little bit more rough even though there you there's no texture yet you can see a difference if it's uh, if it's smooth or not so if I add scratches to the to the smoothness then it's gonna look different than if I add scratches on a uh, flattened surface so you can you can see like the difference between this and the frog legs so these are not flattened this is flattened you can already see uh, see a little difference right this a bit I'm, I'm too scared for this part Should just make it a bit thicker and then just uh, flatten it more but that way this will be a, a stronger structure What time is it? 9.30. Alright. Um, do we need more branches? Probably. Maybe some small ones. back mm -hmm. all right so recently my girlfriend has been listening to yodel music yodeling and I got some yodel songs stuck in my head and I will save you the torture by not singing. I hope you'll appreciate that. I'm not a great singer. I'm barely a good singer. Actually, I'm barely a singer. I I, I don't want to say I'm good, because <laughs> I'm not. Oh well. Um, blah, 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 flatten this out. Also. More branches. So, if you just joined, let me give you a recap. I am um, sculpting a frog. This is a tree frog. It's a, uh, there's a lot of heads right now. Let me turn those off. We were just fooling around earlier. This is a tree frog, and he has a blowpipe, and that he uses. So uh, this is my Dungeon Dragons character, Kika. It's a tree frog. He uses poison, uses poison darts that he shoots from his flute. Yeah, there you go. Um, what else? Should I rotate this a bit more? Probably. Where is it? There it is. I think this 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 might work. You know, if I uh, if I use this hand to hold his to hold the. Uh, The tree stump. Wait, let, let, let me let me 
see if this is gonna work. Maybe we need a different approach. So if we do this, do it like this, how does that look? It's gonna be, the, the base is gonna be a bit bigger, but in general, does this look natural? Because what we can also do, which is gonna be a bit more challenging, but it's gonna make for a really fun miniature, is if I um, put a giant branch here, like bigger than his body, and he is just holding on with his both his leg and one of his arm, and then using his blowpipe to shoot. What do you, what do you think about that? Let me let me see if I can do that. If I rescale this. Uh, come on, be bigger. It's really slow. Why is this so slow? I think I'm doing this wrong. So by increasing the size of this branch, I can make him look like he's standing on top of a tree, a uh, giant tree stump, right? I think that's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, let's do that. I've never done that, that kind of thing before. So this is going to be an experiment. Like most of my... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like lots of my miniatures. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay, I'm getting excited now. I, I'm, I'm getting excited. It's going to be fun. Okay. He needs a few... Um, he needs more branches where I can decide that he's gonna hang on to or not. Oh, I'll flatten that later. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that more than when he's just standing and a random random tree branch comes out, right? This This looks way more organic. his chicken. Nah, let's give him his acorn. Okay, I like the acorn. <laughs> I think that's cute. Okay, um, so now comes the more challenging part. Reposing. You know what? How about this? I'm just gonna keep cleaning up all the, all the parts and then we conclude this and tomorrow we're gonna pose him to stand on different tree branches I think that will be a good plan because then we have a, a goal to work towards for now I think that's what we're gonna do in fact that is what we're gonna do So just flatten this out, I'll round it up, round it out. Flatten, 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 flatten more, flatten. So then tomorrow we can do uh, positioning of his uh, of his body, and his position in the tree. So if you want to see that, then you should come here tomorrow. I will start same time as today, so around 8 o'clock Central European time, 8 o'clock in the evening, as you can tell because it's dark out. 
8 o'clock in the evening. Um, and we'll go for another one and a half to two hours like, uh, like we did today. So it might feel like we didn't have a lot of progress, but I'm kind of happy with what we, what we did today. I, uh, I had fun when we made different hats. I laughed, I lolled, I laughed out loud. Yeah. Let's put some uh, some different dots in there. Hey man, what's up? You're back? I'm gonna level one, one shot. In four hours. Oh man, that does sound really tempting. Um, how long is that gonna take? Because it starts at 2 a.m. for me, so. But you know I really want in. How long is that gonna be? Three-ish hours. Oh man, that's until five o'clock in the morning. You need to. You need to start. If you start a couple hours earlier, then I can join you more often. Let let, let me let me get back to you on that in in about thirty minutes or an hour. Is is that all right? Can I? Tell you then. Yeah, all right. And I'll uh, talk with the missus also. See if we have plans. So what do you think of this? Uh, this is the plan. I uh, I got a giant branch, and he's a, he's a small creature, so he can sit on top of a branch. But he's on top of a tree, and he's scouting. And uh, the pose that's gonna be is he's gonna use his hand to hold this branch, use his uh, grippy uh, grippy frog feet, frog toes to uh, stand on different branches and then use this hand to uh, shoot his blow dart. Don't mind the heads. I don't want the acorn. What do you think? Do you think that's a nice, uh, nice pose? Because that's my plan. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, of course, that's that's going to change. He is not going to be, uh, <laughs> he's not grown through the tree. Yeah, all right. I, um, is there something else we really need to clean up? Before I finish this off, I don't think so. Maybe the fingers a bit. Yeah, this one. That's about it. His thumbs. Wait, why is this still? Okay, um, last chance to change his face, should I make it a bit more, uh, more pointy? Let me try that, because now we still can.
Yeah, I'll let you know in a bit, man. No, <laughs> this might actually be better. It doesn't look like a, like a lizard or something, right? Yeah, this looks like this. This looks enough <laughs> like a frog to me. All right. Um, you know what? This is where I'm gonna finish for now for today. Thank you all for uh, for watching. It looks like a frog. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I uh, will continue this tomorrow. I will uh, pose him so that he's standing on the tree uh, and he's holding the tree, you know, uh, doing the shaping and then uh, see where we uh, where we go from there but um, yeah so if you if you wanna watch that and you wanna be reminded of it you can uh, follow me here on Twitch uh, you can follow me on Instagram which is uh, for at Freddy and D for the indie one um, yeah and and you'll be notified uh, if you want to buy some of my miniatures there is a link down uh, uh, down below in the uh, you know below below the screen I have a couple links in there a couple images on my shapeways account you can buy some of my miniatures or follow me on patreon support me there that's also always appreciated I um, just got back to restarting uh, sculpting. So yeah, uh, thanks for the support and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.